Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Found Reviews. It is I, Sly, accompanied by John and Ken, for another lovely episode of Agatha All Along, episode six, Familiar by Thy Side. Boys, how we doing? This was an interesting one, for sure. <laughs> it's exactly what Johnny wasn't hoping for. <laughs> a, a fucking flashback. Yeah, I was not yeah. really looking forward to that. I did not want that at all. It, slow, it messes contact. up the pacing. It really throws things off. It's like you built such good momentum, and then you, you slammed on the brakes, and it wasn't a good pit stop. Yeah, it was kind of a weird part to just, like, suddenly stick that in there. Because, like, I mean... I guess it made the most sense of anything so far because the end of the last episode we see him like transform he's got power now he's like whoa it's like cool that's that's crazy he's actually you know powerful anyways all along <laughs> and then we get the backstory of how he got there it's like i don't do we need to know all of this i don't know like it's I don't know if this adds a whole lot. Like I, I out, didn't want oh, it he's right. Billy. Yeah, I didn't want it right now. That's the thing. Like I was enjoying yeah. the chemistry. I was enjoying the characters. I was enjoying yeah. like the the formula of the show so far. But they 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 put it at like a really bad time because I feel like it could be useful to have that information. You know, it yeah. would be it would it is nice and I think it it will probably be like important to have that. But I didn't want it right now. I was having a good time and. It's cool to have the information now, but the way they did it with really bad writing and really bad acting by the teen who is in a strong enough like character or actor to really kind of hold in a, a whole episode by himself, in my opinion, I was quite bored throughout this episode and just kind of like just cringing throughout a lot of it and just kind of like, all right, cool, I got the I got the information, move on now. That's not what that's not how people are supposed to be, like, kind of like sponging shows you know or media yeah. yeah yeah this one felt like we're getting information this felt like other marvel shows like ah they're giving us the information but i'm not really invested that much exactly, in exactly what i'm getting yep. so we're getting necessary context probably to move the story forward but it's not interesting enough to be like ah, ah wow i really feel for this character or blah 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 like it was interesting like the actual story beats of like, oh, he was this kid. There was a car accident. Now his body's been taken over by Billy Maximoff. You're like, oh, that's interesting. But like, I guess they just, there's just like too much extra stuff of like not needed information, I guess. This is what it felt like. It just felt kind of fluffy. I don't know. <laughs> Very, yeah, it, it definitely felt padded and and whatnot what was what was the random like hey here's a cameo from a witch i think it was showing that they're actually all a coven because they all have had interactions together unknowingly because he interacted with every single oh. one of them in some way either he knew of them because of like well that wasn't him though when he when he interacted with them Actually, he uh, interacted with all of them except for the first one. Lilia's the only one he technically didn't interact with. When was Jen? I, I he was her. on the TV. So he, he saw Jen on the TV when yeah. he was with his boyfriend. And then he heard uh, Alice or Alice's mother on the record. Yeah, obviously. you're right. And no, Alice yeah. was at EMT when he was yeah. when he woke up and he was alive. So you're right. So yeah. You know, oh, shoot. Really There's that too. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was really interesting. I, uh, I liked the part uh, when he was texting his boyfriend and he's like hey thanks for protecting me he says you're my and it's a black heart like emoji and i'm like ah like yes. does that have something to do with the list that uh lilia made like that yeah that be... was the only witch we didn't see yeah rio rio yep Interesting. and rio's still mysteriously missing at the end of the episode so i'm like yeah where where did she saunder off to is yeah, she over like here that. digesting those other two people's bodies like what's mm. going on yeah i did but... not i did not know that the um the angel of death little uh just the death at all was such a strong theory i did not realize that there was there were a lot of comments about that so that's my bad a lot of people were like hey you guys watch a lot of stuff which i actually don't absorb any material kind of thing because i don't i i, I just want to speak like from from me you know usually yeah. i rely on sly to to pick up on like a lot of the heavier details and things that we miss and make a lot of those connections and links to the com like comics you know um but Johnny's the normal guy kind of yeah casual viewer a type of thing like that you know? yeah 
But uh, yeah, I didn't th I didn't realize that either. So that's that's interesting. I didn't I didn't realize that. Um, but yeah, uh, I no, think we Leo. we got some interesting stuff with what Lilia, right? Um, with the fortune reading stuff yeah. and then the sigil or whatever, if if that's what it's called. Or... Yes, I you know it's that that part threw me off, but I think I understood it now. No one really did anything to him. It was just the fact that he was holding on to that this whole time. But I guess I still don't understand quite the motivation. Because um, she, saw she saw into the future? The future. Yeah, I think yeah. so. But I don't understand quite why it's important because if <laughs> I guess she didn't see her own death because now the, the, the sigil has been rendered obsolete since she's dead now. Yeah, well, that, um, and then he broke it. He broke the little charm. Oh, that's true. So mm -hmm. that, I think that right. was really the issue. Yeah. I mean, I guess that means that she could technically still be alive if she comes out of the mud like yeah. uh, Agatha did. Because remember, oh, hey, uh, Agatha was still trapped after Wanda died. It was Billy's spell or a spell breaker that got her free. Right. Yeah. 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 True, true. True. Which was kind of cool to see the parallels between those conversations where she was tripping out as a detective from the first episode. That was pretty funny. To, to this part where he's over here, like, actually trying to tell her things and she's just in her own world. Yeah. That was kind of funny. <laughs> but I think that, again, I think it was interesting, but I don't think it added much, unfortunately. No, no, it like, It was like information we knew. We could kind of assume that. Yeah. Like, obviously, she was like in her own mind. So we could kind of assume that he was interacting in the real world with her. And this all just played it. Like, all of that we could just like figure out in our minds. We didn't need it literally spelled out to us. No, the audience is uh, fucking stupid. They need everything handheld and they need to bash it in our head with a hammer. But it's so weird because everything else has been more just straight. Damn. Like, they're not sh like hand holding us. They're giving yeah, they're us subtle, more implied you know? stuff. They're, yeah. It's like part of the theming or just these all more subtle things. And then this one was just like, and eh, we need an episode full of him. Like, eh, we'll throw in his perspective. <laughs> like, sure, that's all fine. It is quite on the head, which is, which is weird because it's like they had, <laughs> they didn't have a lot of time to fill. The episode was almost an hour, dude. Yeah. That's like probably their longest episode so far is that and like at the 30 minute mark I was grabbing my controller because I thought it was done and it was 30 more fucking minutes. I was like god damn I'm like what the fuck else we got to do. I'm like I have to watch him go to Westview. Do I have to watch him go take a shit next to like we don't need to fucking be like follow this character this closely. Yeah I think yeah I think again it's just a lot of like unnecessary information because like the all the stuff with the boyfriend fine i don't i don't care about that but i think i also should care about that more because like ideally his plot or his motivations revolve more around that relationship like that relationship is fine but it doesn't drive anything for the story no, no. like if if we were seeing him along the road like worried about his boyfriend or his boyfriend was do like something something like giving him motivation to like i gotta get power to you know help my boyfriend or save my boyfriend or blah 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 like anything related to him to then make this more meaningful because like right now it's just like it's there like fine like it's he has a relationship back home but it's not doing anything for his character yeah like, moving forward like unlike okay, he's gay he has a boyfriend great character traits but like it's not it's not showing me anything about him and why he wants to do these things yeah. Well, it's weird because it's like when they show Alice and like why she's going and they show the connection that she has with with someone that she's lost and whatnot. Yeah, like, that's great. That actually means something to the story. and means something to her character. But I mean, with him, they're just like, here's his mom and dad. Here's that they're really close. Here's a bunch of details that actually have nothing to do with the fucking story at all or with the future of the story that I'm assuming so far that have like, I, I don't know. Yeah, and we didn't see. I, I feel like in the backstory, what we really should have seen more is his desperation to find his brother. Yeah, because yeah. that's what we get at the end. They of the episode. barely like, show. That's the reason they literally say like that's what he's trying to do. And but they literally give us nothing about that during like it's, any it's of the backstory. Fucking dumb too. Like besides that as well, they're like at the like they're like hey, that's weird because like oh the relationship with with the parents and billy are going to decline now because it's not even the same son and it, and it's just like oh no they're fine and it's like 
Yeah, he, there should have been more tension there or something. Like, yeah, yeah, they just you know? breezed right by it. Yeah, he's like, oh, I, I made you uh, some potatoes in the, in the, in the, for dinner, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like, come on, like, show a little bit more tension. Like, that's a, that's a different fucking human being, you know? Yeah, that's why I think it should have been more clear distinction between who is, like, it felt like it was a mix of the two characters. They should have been, and like, more, like, confusing. scared. Like, that's not my son, you know? When, when we see that, like, even in horror films or something like that, or, like, something like with Damien and yeah. you know, the Omen, like when the they're had... scared of the child. Like, what was the point of all of that to show the awkwardness, to show that they were scared, to show that they're unsure, and, like, they didn't trust him to a degree, too, because they're, like, worried about it. It's like, that's not my child, you know? Yeah, he came back a different yeah. person. The dog figured it out. The dog was barking at him, and then we get nothing about that later on. It's very <laughs> weird. They showed, like, a, an absurd amount of shit that didn't really matter, I guess. They didn't pay enough attention to it after they showed it, yeah. Yep, it was like, yeah. why bother showing this at all if you're just gonna breeze right by it? Also, it didn't break conflict up. or anything. I want to fucking. I just want to bitch about it. I, it's they explained <laughs> it fine. I know that Billy doesn't exist and he shouldn't exist as a character because he was fucking made up. But they did a they they did a thing and they said that his soul or whatever entered a dead body and it was a vessel or it's a vessel. So that's him now. I think yeah. it's lazy, stupid. Lazy dumb. Yeah, it's a I little underwhelming, it's especially because they they did that obviously for Tommy too, wherever the hell he is. Yeah. Who else died then? That yeah, just those two, because they're the only two fictitious people that were created from uh, Wanda. Well, wasn't Evan Peters as well? Uh, no. Oh, that, that, yeah, so that was the whole thing, the Agatha thing with Ralph Boner, which I didn't really care for that whole interaction. It was it, pretty it, fucking it, lame, and just to have Evan Peters on screen. It well. reminded me of what Marvel was doing with the old formula, just throwing a joke in behind every single thing. Yeah, this is old writer's formula for sure. You're right. <laughs> and it, it it really it didn't it didn't really contribute. So it didn't. Not to be so can someone explain how Quicksilver then showed up into WandaVision then? If that's not like if that is a that's Ralph playing yeah. Evan Peters. But he's Correct. a speedster, but he's not that was a speedster. something that Agatha did to him. I think that, because remember in the show, we figured out that the necklace that Agatha put on him is what gave him all those abilities. I don't recall that, but okay, that makes That's sense. That's okay. I, I think what happened was, you know, Wanda was controlling everybody in Westview, and then Agatha only had enough juice for one person, which was Ralph. And Which that was that whole was so thing. Confusing. Yeah. Why Wanda was so confused about it as well. Yeah, because she was like, I didn't account for this guy. Like, okay. This wasn't something I threw in there. Even though it was subconscious, you know. That was where, the, especially with the whole controversy where they were talking, you know, what happened to your accent? What happened to yours? So that's okay. my thought on it. Yeah. No, no you're fine. Sorry. No, I just legit. I just wanted to, that. that's puzzling me and kind of was uh, blocking me from moving on with, with, uh, with him being in the show, but that makes sense though. That's fine. He, yeah, I uh, thought it was unnecessary. Yeah, they turned <laughs> they turned real awkward. real trauma. Marvel does they love to do that. They love to turn real issues and real trauma into the butt of a fucking joke. All the time. True, yeah. Thor losing his home and family. By that, but he's yeah. like, Oh, now he's the crazy guy with like, you know what did he have? Like garlic and whatever random shit to like ward witches away, like <laughs> Yeah, with the like, uh, right. property value diminishing as well. Yeah, yeah, all that shit. So it's, yeah, that scene was just awkward. Hmm. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I I think my biggest gripe is just the the distinction between the characters, like we were talking about earlier. Like it's just it. Yeah, it I didn't too, know what was goosey goosey of like, is this William? Is this Billy? Like, who's in control right now? Like. Uh, why does he not know who he is? But and yet also, he's a different person, obviously. If you're gonna so, have like, two separate characters, don't use the same fucking name. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That was I was I wanted to kick someone. I was like, am I tripping here? Or like Billy William? I dude. Yeah, I, Bill I, is short for I, William. I, like for fuck's sake, dude. That's yeah. like Ben and like Wendigo. Like that's one one step away, dude. Just. <laughs> I think that's pretty annoying and it's something they could easily change up, you know? I think they did it on purpose to confuse us at the beginning of the episode. Yeah, I, I for, for some reason. And it just then, felt like unnecessary. It did. Like, oh, his name is, is Bill, essentially. 
Okay. Why? Because <laughs> I'm like, there's Why baby indeed? photos. I'm like, how is there? How how are there gonna be baby photos if he's only been alive for like three or four years or something yep. like that? Like, what the fuck? Like, and and he was, like, what what is going on with it? And then, I don't know, dude. And then, then he was reading the father's mind, and he's like, is he gonna remember? And he's like, remember Westview when he was Wanda's child? Like, are they the adoptive parents? Like, what's happening here? Like, I didn't no, no, realize till the end of the amnesia. fucking. Yeah, the end of the fucking episode, she's like, oh, you just used a vessel. I'm like, oh, cool. Like, you took 50 fucking minutes to explain that? Boy, you are bad at writing your job. Holy yeah. fuck. Yeah, I wish they would have made it a little bit more apparent so we could follow along earlier. Because that stuff was, like, somewhat implied. It's it, this weird. This episode has an issue where it's hand holding you, but also not. I know. I was just about to say the same thing. thing. Like, like that's a really important aspect of this episode is that he's been, he's taken over a vessel. Like having a bit more explanation of like how that is. Obviously, he's figuring it out as we are, but it's just it's hard to follow and it's hard for us to figure out what's going on if it's so ill defined. Like we we can't be the smart ones and figure it out early because it's so like ambiguous about what's happened like he got in a car accident he woke up and yelled tommy it's like okay so that kind of implies that you know it's billy looking for tommy kind of but also he's not acting purely like billy but he's also not acting purely like the character from before so which is it right now because it seems like he should be acting purely like billy and he should be solely focused on finding his brother and his mother and understanding what's going on but he's not he's also playing along and it's not very clear where yeah, the line if, is if, a, if an eight-year-old wakes up in a teenager's body they're gonna be a little confused and where's my fucking mommy type of shit you know but that's just me yeah i could be wrong maybe i'm yeah. quite underdeveloped or something but i feel like <laughs> um they'd be it uh they just i don't know the episode is weird episode is weird i feel like they they maybe booked themselves into a corner with some of that shit and they just they did the best they could with it yeah what do you sad because they did it to themselves yeah for yeah. sure because yeah. i only say that because like everything else was like the, the the series has been quite well i'd say the only like yeah. uh fucking bogus episode was episode one you know but like uh, everything else has been fucking class i've really enjoyed it not that this episode was bad but it definitely has fell off and i was not interested to a, an extreme degree because it was a flashback <laughs> and because they were not moving on with the story and i was incredibly disappointed by the end They're, they pretty much told us that everyone else was dead besides agatha and teen and i'm like cool you guys are going to be doing your cringy acting together like this show like this is the turning point like we will hit the halfway mark now the second half is going to be like crap is that is that i hope that's not the route we're taking i really fucking hope so but yeah I think what really says something is that you could just take the last 10 minutes of this episode, just that, and be like, all right, moving forward. Like, that's yeah. all we need to know. You took over a vessel. You could give us a little bit more backstory. Maybe just sprinkle in some details about, oh, I don't know. You took over a vessel of a, a guy that was in a car accident. Good job. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. That's all you needed to know. That's literally the whole point of this episode. You know what uh, Everything else up until there was fluff. <laughs> I think would have been better timing for the reveal about William or Billy was when he got injured during the the like 70s retro singing episode. Yeah. If they then like ended on that cliffhanger, started the next episode with this flashback and it starts off with the, you know, the accident and as soon as the car accident happens, it just jumps to like the reveal that this is Billy. I would have been much more content with that if they just kept it short and sweet because the further you go into it, and if you don't explain enough, you know, the hand-holding and you just let go for the actual crucial bits, why bother at all? Yeah. Yeah. I think overall, just kind of a confusing episode. It... Yeah. I wish they just would have said, oh, you took over a vessel from the beginning of the episode and mm -hmm. then showed the flashback, maybe. Maybe it's just an order thing, because if I knew that clearly from the beginning... Everything would have made a lot more sense. Yeah, I, I just was watching it very confused and, and whatnot. You know, I'm also going to be very disappointed because, like, we're going to start the next episode 
with without the joy of the of the series you know which was everyone as a character interacting with each other and building chemistry and growing together that's what the show has been about and that's what i liked about it and that's what i was looking forward to but now i have like in my opinion the the like weakest character having having to interact with agatha who's been okay who's been good for the most part and i'm not really looking forward to that I, i'm not looking don't know forward where to Rio's gonna come back in so yeah i almost forgot about her you know that i think that was the point of this whole episode we we kind of like she got sidelined heavily last episode also why is it no one mentioning it either like it is clearly a fucking blind side but like no one's like yeah. where's rio like no one gives a fuck i'm like that, it's that is throwing me off i'm like i they're definitely she's an afterthought and it feels weird because she totally has that death you know angel of death vibe or that grim reaper vibe and it's like why are why is the rest of the gang so content with just randomly being like oh she's missing yeah like she's pulling the batman like all yeah. the time and no one says anything about it yeah we have a lot of unaccounted for things right now and it's it's strange because i i'm still not convinced the other two witches are dead as well because lily i hope they're not flash back into her backstory and like there's no way they're just going to leave that unresolved right if we go to the end of this series and we don't figure out more about all that bullshit and her random like Bats of like words that she's talking about. Like, if yeah. we don't get more resolution on that, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, I want to know. Very interested in what I want to know why was, this bitch is crazy. Pumped. Yeah, <laughs> why did she lose her mind, bro? Or like, why did Jen get tethered? Like, tell me. Yeah, like, oh, come on, no. we need more. We'll have I another another that. side series based off those characters. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I guess I'll have to see. I don't. I don't know like the the whole last part of this episode was just also awkward because it was also like eight minutes of just them like talking to each other and again we've o we only gained a little bit of information from it and it's just the chemistry between them is like a little bit weird it's i don't quite awkward i know how to like Agatha is supposed to be like intimidating, but like for some reason her intimidations don't come off as like intimidating for some reason they come off as like almost like predatory it feels weird like like i don't know dude it's, it's not very good weird plus this might be a weird nitpick of mine that I'm, I'm reading into but i think characteristically billy and even tommy if we ever see him shouldn't they be acting like 12 year old kids because they're not developed they're not developed they've had three years of actual real life and like a sped up abridged what like day and a half from westview yeah pretty much like dude i know it was longer than that but like realistically speaking they grew at an accelerated rate and i mean they were they were tiny so i'm like did they take their previous host memories did they are they just piecing it together like billy at least can mind read so that helps but what the hell's tommy's excuse yeah i don't know dude there's a lot of loosey-goosey information and stuff Too going much. on here so i don't I know loose. I don't know I, what to assume. I, as like, as that being like one of the plot points, is like, oh, we get to find Billy. It's not that strong for me. I'm not interested in finding Billy at all. Oh, you mean Tommy? Tommy, yeah, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're both lost. <laughs> yeah. I, I, like, I'm not that like, oh, we got to find Tommy. Like, oh, fuck yeah, dude. That's what we need. Like a speedster on the CW right here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gonna make me rewatch The Flash. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess me. we haven't gotten enough. I again think the flashback should have been more about him really concerned about Tommy. Like obviously figuring about figuring out a bit more of like how he got in the situation, but also just like his main motivation. Which Dude, he's such said, a shit actor though. It's hard to get into him. Yeah. It's hard to get know. into the character and his what he wants because he's I don't know, the way he talks to his parents, to his boyfriend, it's so like I get it, he's an awkward, quirky teen, but I'm like, ah oh, dude, it's so cringy. <laughs> like it feels like such a like a fake interaction it's like all right now pretend to be like you're like pretend to be like the son of this guy right it's, yeah i think i know what you mean yeah it's uh it's hard to watch it's literally hard to watch the scenes when he was in the car with his boyfriend and stuff and they're like uh, it's like i'm like uh like this makes me this makes me cringe like physically like this is this is not great. Yeah, it's funny because like he has some 
pretty good scenes too when he's particularly emotional and upset about something yeah I think those that, do well yeah the series like, scenes the were, last episode, were better yeah in the last episode when he was like angry at agatha like and he was getting all up in her face and upset about what she did those were good when he was like desperate and like trying to figure out like the the, the ouija board and what to call out those all seemed those were all great um so there's like it's it's kind of a a weird toss-up sometimes between some of the scenes <laughs> yeah like when he got home and he was incredibly upset like that was more believable you know and and kind of saddened and whatnot like definitely more believable but then and then any interaction he has like he makes light of it by turning it into a joke and i'm just like i don't know maybe if i see a joke on screen and it's not funny like every time he opens his mouth it's a joke and it's not funny i'm just like <laughs> this sucks <laughs> like this this sucks like i get that's a defense mechanism for some people like in awkward situations they have to make light of it and joke about it and stuff but like yeah fuck me dude i'm tired of watching it yeah i guess maybe it could also just be one of those things where when you don't relate as much with the character it's hard to not feel awkward during their scenes right so if you can't if it's not something that i don't know like you would think of for those interactions it's hard to like it's hard to watch some of those scenes, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But, but I mean, it's it's not the worst thing ever. The show is still pretty dang good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're still on a positive path. Let's put it that way. So yeah, I still have hope. <laughs> they still could get away with a decent amount of murder, I guess. Yeah, maybe this was just a little bump in the road. Fine. Still solid. I'll yeah. take it. I give it a uh, six, I guess. I was quite confused, so. Six too low? No, I feel no. like that's fairly accurate. I was thinking something the same. I was I was between a six and a seven, personally, and I'm like, seven seems just a little bit too high for this episode. I th what did I give the last one? Like an eight, I think? Yeah, you gave it an eight, yeah. So like, it's definitely lower than the eight but it's not quite a seven in my opinion. So I think I would agree with like a six. I'm going to follow that up with a six. It, it, I think, unfortunately, we're, we're past the halfway point now. And there was a, you could definitely feel a tone shift this episode as opposed oh, yeah. to the last one or even the previous one. And I'm worried because I'm like, I don't want them to lose steam. This has been a surprise how enjoyable this show is. And I don't want to lose that. Yeah. But this was, this was underwhelming. Yeah, it was, yep. it was, um, it was, I was afraid of it coming, and it's finally here, so I give it a six. Ken, would you give it? A six as well. Six, fly. Six. Six. So that means it's getting a two. No, our official <laughs> score for it, it's going to be a six as well. Um, so if you review is a little bit longer, we actually had uh, quite a bit of stuff to talk about and stuff to kind of clarify between each other as well of uh, what was actually going on there. Because there was a lot of ha stuff happening within the episode that they uh, were were kind of slick with, which I don't know if the black heart meant anything. And Lila is reading, Lily is reading as well. There's there's a couple things that I thought were interesting. But uh, hey, if you guys enjoyed this review, please make sure to leave some support down below for the slugs. And uh, we'll see you guys later for episode seven for the next review. But until then, bye guys. Peace. Bye.